to Mr. Cho if he hadn't blabbed. How would I know the person who hit the hospital surveillance video is you? Yes, I was at the hospital that day. I watched the housekeeper get killed, and I was the one who took the surveillance video. Since you know the truth, why did you tell me? Why did you stand by and watch and see me sentenced to jail? Sinyuan, I had my reasons. To reverse your conviction, in half a month at the most, I'll be able to clear your name. Thanks, but I don't need it. Sinyuan. Sinyuan. Okay, I got it. Mr. Lee, the court just called. The video footage is all true. The verdict will be announced in half a month. Miss Sin is not guilty. Mr. Lee, do you think we should take Miss Sin back to the Lee family? You are teaching me how to do things? Get out! Sinuan, you still won't admit you're guilty. Nanjiang, I was framed. I didn't kill Uncle Chao. You're still denying it? Mr. Lee, what's wrong? Who made you angry? Why are you so angry? Why don't have a dream with me? Or I'll do whatever you want. Get out! You can call the doctor after word. Grandpa? Eh, ah, Sin Yuan, I know what Nanjing did to you. It's our family's fault. I'm sorry for what I've done to you. But don't be afraid. Grandpa is here. Nanjing won't dare to bully you anymore. Sin Yuan, as long as Grandpa is here, you'll be the daughter-in-law of our family. Sin Yuan, come home and live with us. Don't stay at a place like the Night Banquet Club. Grandpa, it's between me and Lee Nanjing. Sin Yuan, come with me. Why did you come to my house all of a sudden? You want to put a grandpa in the hospital? Lin Anjang, grandpa asked me to come here. Don't worry, I won't get in your way. I don't want to stay in this house any longer. I'm leaving right now. <gasps> what do you think my home is? You can come and go as you wish to? What do you want then? Xin Yuan, Nan Cheng didn't bully you, did he? Xin Yuan, Nan Cheng didn't bully you, did he? Not really, we are just talking. Sinyuan, why are you here? She's my guest. I want her to stay for dinner with me. Can't I? Stupid old thing, now that you like to protect her, I'll see how long you can protect her. Grandpa, I'd better go. Since I visited you today. Sinyuan, don't hang around with Tang Chiuye. He gets close to you on purpose. Lin Anjiang, I stay out of your things with Xin Ling'er. And may you stay out of mine. I've got work in office. You stay here with my grandpa. I'm out of here. Eh, Lin Anjiang, I've did it with my besties for tea. Alright. Come back early. Don't mess with my grandpa. Hey. It's me. I have something here. Could you please help me again? Make that little bitch hit the headlines again. After completing the task, I'll give you 200,000 yuan. Don't worry about this. I will definitely handle this matter well. Xin Yuan, you just wait to become famous. And the old man, when he sees this news, will he be angry to death? If he gets angry to death, it saves a lot of trouble. Uh, uh, uh. Sir, what's wrong with you? Medicine. He has a recurrence of high blood pressure this time. Fortunately, it didn't cause a brain infarction. Don't make him angry anymore. Okay, I got it. Thank you, doctor. Grandpa, I'll find two nurses to take care of you tomorrow. No, send you on. Could you come to the hospital tomorrow to take care of me? I... Send you on. Grandpa's illness this time is caused by you. You must stay and take care of Grandpa. Is there something wrong with you, Lin Anjiang? If it weren't for your gossip reports, how could Grandpa be so angry? What are you performing here now? Don't you dare say it again. Lin Anjiang, in order to force me into the Lee group, you didn't even care about Grandpa's health. You're such a filial grandson. Okay, okay, let's just say less. Mr. Lee, our subordinates. 
Scott New leads on his Angels incident at the night banquet club. <laughs> Mr. Lee. The punk we took earlier confessed, saying that it wasn't Miss Sinyuan who gave them the money to insult Miss Angel. Instead, it was Miss Lee. Er, uh, I haven't investigated thoroughly yet. Did someone give them the money so that they changed their confession? Sin Ling Er. Yes. And Mr. Lee, this is a video taken from the court. Okay. Follow up this lead. It can't be that simple, since they withdraw their confession. Okay. Nanja, how's Grandpa doing? Is he okay? Xin Yuan, why is she here? Did you bring her here? You promised me to break with her completely. Can you say a few words less? Nanchan, don't you know she killed the elder sister? If it weren't for her insistence on marrying you, sister wouldn't have gone to the night banquet. Enough! Nanchan, it's her fault. You left her here. What if she kills grandpa? She is a malicious woman. If you left her here, she will bring misfortune. There is something. You want me to say it clearly. What do you mean by that? Chilling Er, the death of the puddler and angel. Does it really have nothing to do with you? Nan Chang, what do you mean? Not to mention the butler. Angel is my sister. How could I possibly harm her? It must be Sin Yuan. She's talking nonsense and wronging me. She didn't say anything. Then it must be Tang Tiu Ye. He always liked Sin Yuan. He must have helped Sin Yuan frame me. Okay, that's it. You go back to live in the apartment for a while. I'll bring you back when Grandpa gets better. Apartment? Where should I go to the apartment? I won't go there. Go. Go! You just want to live now? Mr. Lee, how are you going to torture me this time? Mr. Lee, how are you going to torture me this time? Report to the Lee group tomorrow morning. This is the deadline I gave you. If you run out of my patience, neither you nor Sinhui will be okay. Okay, I'll go to the company with you tomorrow, but I hope you can hold your promise. Let go of Sinhui! Mr. Lake, our supporters caught a poor girl at the night banquet club. She knows the punk who withdrew his confession. Really? Yes. <sighs> Let's go. Come with me. Mr. Lee, this is the poor girl who used to work at the night banquet club. She was also present on the day of the crime. Say something. What did you see back then? You'd better be honest. Mr. Lee, I recognize the person who hurt Miss Angel back then. Huh. That person was Mr. Chi and Tang Chiyue's minion back then. He always came to the night banquet club to mooch off and made a pass at those girls. On the day of Miss Angel's accident, I'm packing the empty bottles in the private room. It is him who carried Miss Angel into the private room. Mr. Chi, Tang Chiyue, and that punk. It turns out that they are in collusion. Be careful, Mr. Lee. So, what happened to him? Why did Nanjing drink so much? Mr. Lee is upset about Miss Angel's matter, so he just had a few more drinks. Angel, Angel, it's Angel again. He can go back first. Okay. <sighs> Sin Yuan, you just wait to receive the gift I sent you.
The way you try to assert dominance in your relationship, that's really funny. Is this a new girl? Ah, uh, you definitely didn't know. I heard that this lady was a bar girl at the night banquet club before. The kind that specifically sits on a man's lap and pours wine. Really? Then help me pour a glass of water. Quickly! You're not used to standing and pouring water, are you? If you're not used to standing, how about I lend you my thigh? Please show your respect. The woman who came out of the night banquet club, you know how many men you've slept. What are you pretending to be serious for? Yeah, sitting down won't kill you. What are you doing? Mr. Lee! Lin Chong. Come here. Sinuan, you're really stubborn. On your first day here, you hooked up with a man? It's not what you think. Then what is that? Whatever you think of me. Anyway, you asked me to go to the lead group. I did. Please fulfill your promise. Quickly, find someone to release Sin Hui. Okay. But I have a condition. From now on, you have to be my personal assistant. He must be on call 24 hours a day. You have to be my personal assistant. He must be on call 24 hours a day. What? Why? The contract stipulates that I only work 8 hours a day. The time at night belongs to me personally. I have something else to do. Sorry, I won't be able to keep you company. Stop! Why is it him again? Mr. Lee! Do you know this girl? It's not just about knowing her. Mr. Kuo, don't you know yet? She used to be the top showgirl at the night banquet club called Rose. Good! Come and have a drink with me! <laughs> Mr. Kuo, I'm not feeling well today. Unwell! Must be an excuse. Rose, you wouldn't want to disrespect Mr. Kuo, would you? Rose, have another drink. Sinyuan, this is your thing. Came to the night banquet club. Are you so fond of being a whore? This is my freedom. None of your business. <laughs> when can the bar girl talk about freedom? Go! Hey, Lancho, let go of me! <laughs> you are so fond of being a whore. Then you can sell yourself to me. Hey, Lancho, let go of me! Don't move. It's so hard. Let go of me! Ah. 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 Hey, let go of me! Don't you like to be a whore? Tonight, I can help you. Nanjang, please be sober. Mr. Kuo dropped the wine. <laughs> Nanjang, please be sober. Mr. Kuo dropped the wine. Why is it okay to accompany Mr. Kuo but not me? Because in your eyes, I'm just an ex-wife that disgusts you. And a prostitute who comes and goes at your beck and call. Doesn't it? Sin you one. You still... Love me, right? Oh, let go of me! Love you? How could that be possible? How could I love you? You gave me all the scars on my body! Lin Anjou, how long are you going to torture me? 